In this tutorial, we are going to use the data from Google Earth Pro in order to create a DM using Global Mapper. Welcome to GeoCarto, a channel dedicated to GIS, cartography, and geoscience. So subscribe if you want to get more tutorials. So first of all, we are going to need some data, X and Y, and elevation that we are going to get from Google Earth Pro. In order to do this, just open Google Earth Pro and then zoom into any place on Earth. I have chosen this place in Central Europe. Now we are going to draw some points in order to extract the X, Y and elevation from this uh, set of points. So in order to do this, we are going to click on this add path, click on it and just ignore this window. And we are going to add those points. Just click and draw the first set of points. I'm going to draw another one. They will go ahead and do the same thing for the rest of this area. So now I will go ahead and add some vertical points. So the more points you have, the more your contours will be accurate. So there we go. I guess this will do the job. So you can name it whatever you want just let path and then you will click on ok so you go you will get your path here now we are going to save this path in order to do this right click on it and then click on save place as and then navigate to where you want to save it name it and then click on save after this go to this website gps visualizer slash elevation or simply click on the link under the description below We'll go ahead and upload our KMZ file. Click on your KMZ file and then click on open. So for the output, we are going to select plain text and for the unit, we'll let it to metric. And all what you need to do is just click on convert and add elevation. As you can see, we got our latitude, longitude and our altitude. This is the file that we got from our conversion operation. So now we will click on it in order to download it. After the download, we will get this text file. Double click on it to open it. And there we go. We got our latitude, longitude, and our altitude. Now we are going to open Global Mapper. So we will import our data. In order to do this, click on Open Data Files. Then navigate to where you saved your text file. Click on it, and then click on Open. Now for this tab, select point only all features are points and for the coordinate order you can see here that we started with the latitude so we'll put y north and latitude coordinate first for the coordinate format we'll let it to to default for the fields to skip at start of line we will skip the first one for the rows to skip start of file we will also skip the first one it's this one and for the coordinate pairs per line it's one and here for the coordinates for the for coordinate delimiter we will select auto detect and we will click on ok so now global mapper is telling me that to set the projection of my points i will click on ok and for me it's geographic latitude and longitude the datum is wgs84 and i will click on ok so i imported my points i will go ahead and remove those labels to do this double click on your file go to labels and then click do not use an attribute value for name. Click on apply, click on yes, and then okay. We will now use this point as an input in order to generate our digital elevation model. To do so, we'll go ahead and use this button, create elevation grid, click on it. And there for description, you can set the name of your grid. For the units, let it to meters. Our, our elevation is in meters. So I will simply let everything to default and I will click on OK. So this is the result of our operation. We got our digital elevation model. Now we are going to export our digital elevation model in order to use it in other GIS software. Go to files and go to export and then click on export elevation grid format. We will go with GeoChief, click on OK and just click again on OK. Now you can name your DM and then click on save. So that's it for this tutorial. Please like it and subscribe if you want to get 
more tutorials.